Good morning. We've just woken up to another beautiful morning here in um, Chef Shawan, Morocco. Today we're going down to Fez tonight via the Rift Mountains. About 160 miles if I remember. Let's let's have a look here. Yeah, down through Fez, down via the Rift Mountains, which are supposed to be absolutely stunning. So let's uh, let's go. Closest entry point. Let's get rolling. Starting the day on brand new tyres. That was Hotel Al Khalifa and it was nice. And very, very, very friendly guy who owns it and very helpful as well. And I've got to say, Chef Shawan, what an amazing city, town. I think it's a city, well it's called a city, but last night walking up through the little tiny alleyways and streets, it's just bizarre. It's, it's, it's quite bewildering actually. Very, very special. Oops, I'm on the wrong side of the road. And I'm so happy that I visited it. Just look at that. Just have a very quick nosy so you can have a nosy at it. I've changed now into my summer gear, so all my winter gear is kind of all packed but I've had no space for my boots so I've had to put my boots on there just look at that last night when I left uh, the hotel to go for a walk I thought I don't I don't know where I'm going how do you find that bit where it's all blue and st steep steps and everything it's everywhere as you can imagine all this it's like a rabbit warren of shops and, and alleyways and and mosques and it's quite something and that's that trail we were on last night, all the way up there, look. Fantastic. Chef Shawan. If anyone plans to come to Morocco, I would um, definitely recommend putting Chef Shawan on your itinerary. Let's go. Yes, I've opted for my summer gear, so I've got my road skin jeans on and my mesh jacket so i'm going to be cold for a little bit i would have thought must remember i've got new tires on as well to get get these uh scrubbed in a little bit i'm really pleased i did that actually brought the new tires with me a little bit less weight now to carry oh i also want to thank uh, motorcycle accident claims for getting on board with me with this series as part of them being part of this series, I can offer you guys a free legal membership. Even if you've got ongoing claims, just give these guys a call. Totally independent, really nice guys. This membership is $39.99 a year as part of their little partnership with me on this series. I can offer it to you guys for free. All you've got to do is sign up. Free. Free, I tell you. There's a link in the video description and it's free, not just for this year, but because you're signing up through me, it's free forever. And by becoming a member, you get entered into whatever competition they might be running at any one time. It's not a competition, it's just giveaways. And you don't need to re-enter. Just by signing up, you are automatically in any future competitions. It's a win-win, really. Freebie on me. Chef shower. that might make a nice photo, actually. Yeah, it will. really nice these tyres feel um, 
smoother already. What a fantastic place Chef Shawn is. Yes, it's most definitely a little bit chilly. Eight degrees. Come on, sunshine. Well, I'm just starting to feel normal again now from the uh, long slog on the way down here. Had another really great sleep last night. In bed for about 10 o'clock, I think. I had a meal in the square last night. I had a three course meal outside the Casbah, the old historic Casbah. It was stunning, there were all kinds of stuff going off. There were some guys over in the corner dancing and singing, busking if you like. But there's all kind of, you know, weird and wonderful things to see. And the bill, three course meal, plus a fresh squeezed orange juice, nicest orange juice I've had. It was stunning. And the bill, three course meal, I started with, what did I have? Uh, I, had like, I had a Moroccan salad for starters with olives and a big slab of, I don't really know what kind of bread it was, but it was really, really nice. Just kept breaking bits off it and uh, drizzling oil on it. The main course was uh, like lamb koftas with a salad, some chips. The, the sweet dessert, I think were called natillas or something. And it was just like, um, it was just like a little pot of like, it didn't look very nice, but it was really nice. It was it like a custardy, it was like custard in a little pot with a biscuit on it. Really nice, cold, really nice though. And um, it was 90 dirhams. Actually, no, not 90, it was listed as 90. Then he said, come on, come on in. I'll do it for 70 dirhams. I'm like, oh, go on then, go on then. 70 dirhams, and I'm like, hang on a minute. That's like six quid. So I gave him a hundred and still feel like I've ripped them off. Nine, hundred dirhams is probably nine quid. Amazing. And as I said about the tires, 250 dirhams to do it, which is 20 quid. Okay, he has ruined my front wheel, but he's not ruined it. He's just scratched it a bit and I'll have to um, try and polish it up a bit. Don't know why I just nodded to him. And the little scuffs on that wheel, on an otherwise completely untouched bike, thus far, the scuffs will stand as um, battle scars, as a... Uh... Oh, how did that happen? Oh, well, I'll tell you a funny story about it. Happened in a place in Morocco, called Chef Shower. Oh, it's 11 degrees already! It'll be up to 20 odd again today, I'm sure. Everyone's wearing these like KKK suits, look. No disrespect, just uh, an observation. Here, all the blokes seem to be wearing them. These police um, waypoints everywhere. That's probably seven or eight I've seen now. Checkpoints, not waypoints, police checkpoints. I've got to find that power lead today down in Fez. Because if not, I'll have no power to do anything. Can't believe I forgot to pick that up. Forgot to pick up the the MagSafe charger for my uh, MacBook and the power lead for the USB adapter. I did, however, remember the European plug, the uh, extension lead, 250 USB leads, all to make sure I was safe for charging. Just the final little important bit. The actual bit that goes to the power. <laughs> I found a shop last night in amongst those alleyways. Like a phone shop. He says, yes, yes. It was just one minute, one minute. And, and he had me waiting for ages while they were dealing with other people. One minute, one minute. I sat there probably 20 minutes. Stood there, stood there. He says, right, took a picture of it. He says, right, one second. Went off down to another shop. Came back, says, sorry, it's closed. <laughs> I was so close. So yes, I will say that now. If this video, for whatever reason, cuts short, and there's nothing else after, it's because I'm out of juice. Just trying to be a little bit ginger on these tyres to start us off. Until I've got some miles on them. These road surfaces look um, like perfectly smooth, but almost too smooth, you know? Makes you feel like there's not much grip on them. 
and I know there's not much grip around the roundabout so she can feel it twitching he's getting a little bit close for comfort behind me where's Laurie going? What a, what a place to overtake! You know, super slow overtake as well. You've got a tight right hander coming up. Yeah, see so what you mean about the roads? They've got like a sheen on them. It feels like. It looks, should I say, like the uh, super slippy. See how much it is. All right, how are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, okay, thank you. Got it. Thank you. One eighty four. Thank you. Nice not having to get off. 184, so that was 180. 200 is about 18 quid. Or probably about 15 quid. That's, mm, that's about normal price, I think. Altimeter on the Garmin so I can see what uh, how high we are. It's tomorrow when we start to get really high. Highest road in Morocco tomorrow, 10,000 feet. Oh, look at that view. to have that road map zoomed out a bit this one's taking care of everything that one's just visual for me so I know where I am it really helps actually and I'm very very pleased that I can now do that with this dongle thing I've got on and touching on that again um, if you've seen any of my recent videos you'll notice I've just had this uh, new Apple CarPlay dongle 50 quid-ish I think it was and um, I can't quite believe how perfect it is. Did not expect for it to be as uh, reliable and consistent as it is. It's actually more consistent than the wired version. You don't need to do anything, just turn your ignition on and it bangs in, that's it. There'll be a link to that in the description below as well. Should you want to buy one for yourself, and of course, if I'm sending you there, it doesn't cost you any more, but I get a little kickback. I mean, I might make, I might make about 12 pence. So, yeah, knock yourself out. It's a bit rough up here. I'll have to pop it again. Look. Keep off of the road, doggies. Seem to use a lot of donkeys in Morocco for or what you'd expect them to use donkeys for, to carry things. I made a mistake last night going out in a t-shirt. Lovely and hot when I got there. Sun's absolutely amazing. Second it set, bang, I remember we're in January. <laughs> they were freezing. Look at the road in front on the sat nav. Fantastic road this is. Look at the bloody scenery. But oh, Christ it's cold. Look where we're at. 12 degrees. Come on sunshine, get your work on. Come on. Oh man. It's 
freezing. Yeah, let's get this jacket on. There it is. I just had to stop. Because there's not a cloud in the sky going coming around this corner and bang, look at that. Look how thick that is. Look how quick it's moving down. I might end up driving right through it, so let's go and have a look. Look how weird it's gone, folks. That cloud that we just looked at back there, we're right in the middle of it now. And it's gone absolutely freezing. Now in the thick of all this cloud, temperatures really, really dropped. Here we go, just coming out the other side of it. Wow, look at that. That's unbelievable. I've just had to turn on because I've just come through this town and there is just traffic everywhere. The last couple of junctions I've done have just been like, ooh, grin and uh, kind of wince and hope you get through. It's probably going to get dead easy now. Cops everywhere, like this, this police uh, checkpoints everywhere. Pulling locals, but wave it seemed to be waving me through all the time. All the police are smiling. They're all smiling like they're, they're just at work and, and having a laugh with the mates. It's really, really nice to see. The amount of kids that are reaching out to high five and you can see the little faces lighting up. Yeah, there's something very special in the air. It's probably the uh, remnants of Rift Mountains. But yeah, there's definitely something in the air. Everyone's just happy and... Um, and, and, and I've noticed that everybody's working, especially the women, carrying stuff and fuel seems to be consistently 13 and 14 everywhere. I'm really taking my time just to soak everything in, not in any rush. It is a different world though, for those that have never been. Another police checkpoint. These wave me through as well. This? In? Oh, here. Keep going. Thank you. He saw the English plate and thought, hmm, can't be bothered with that. That's interesting, isn't it? I've just been saying that they've, they've all waved me through and pulled up the locals. Then I come to one where he pulls me in. Where the hell's lorry going? Who's Pippin? There's donkeys everywhere. And just like these stalls everywhere, look at the side of the road. It smells good, the cooking smells good. Look how the scenery's changed. We're now approaching Fez. We're about uh, 10, 12, 15 mile away from Fez, but it started to get browner. We seem to have left the green behind. And it's starting to get brown, look at that. There's a real feel of the desert coming. I can't believe how much the landscape's changed in not that many miles. 100 or so miles south. Look at it. saluted me 
camels. First lot of camels. Just approaching Fez. This floor is really slippy. Hola, hola. It's okay. Welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, the the Medina. The Medina, yes. Yeah, hotel, garage, the motor, you will feel it too. Let's do it. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm going this way, but thank you. Yeah. Good for up, English. England, yes. Thank you. The Medina then. Amazing. You don't see many places like this, do you? Look at that. Holy crap. Yeah, it's really changing now. Really changing now. Damia. Yeah, so this is the parking of the Riyadh. Oh, in this yeah. underneath? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you, mate. Thanks. Wow. Christ, it's dark in here. This out just arrived in Fez, absolute game changer. Talk about um, cultural shock coming into Fez, properly different. But look at this, this is a traditional Riyadh. Look at this, beautiful. How nice is that? And they've just come in, they've ca helped carry me things in from outside to show you where we are out there. There's our Keith. Wow, what an amazing place. Look at that front door. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, I got here and they helped carry me things in and they said, come sit down, some hospitality on us. And proceeded to pour me some Moroccan tea. Ah, and do you know what? I'm going to enjoy these little, I don't know what they are, but they're like little cakes. First thing I've eaten today. Mm. Oh my God, they're amazing. I'm going to go um, down into the Medina very shortly. Come on. Stick with me. Moroccan tea is delicious. Oh. Tonight is going to be a good one. I can feel it in my bones. And the guy just said, I showed him the lead that I need. Desperately need now. Oh yeah, we've got one. I'll give you. So he's gone to fetch me home. Thank you. Look how tight this is. I think now it's straight. How? Yes. You are welcome to Fez <laughs> and you are welcome to Morocco. Look how tight this is. <laughs> okay, we turn around. Amazing. That is Riyadh also too. 
That's a Riyadh as well. Okay. Yeah, but how they they carry yeah. the bags? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a, so if they come Chinese, has big bags, so it cannot enter. That's amazing. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, that's. <laughs> you see, it's very small streets. Yeah. But you cannot. Amazing. The houses, how it is in inside. It's like we, small palace. Yeah. It's yeah. Big, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like what you saw where we live. Yes. Know? So. You saw like this, see the word what you saw here? From here, before, it was like 18 years ago, they carry her, her stuff, like bed, sofa, everything, they carry from the neighbor, from the terrace of her neighbor to enter home. You are welcome. That's it, the word, it's protection of the houses because she's starting to make a restoration. Yeah. And this restoration making by UNESCO. Just look at this guy, watch. So. There's a town of streets. Ooh, look inside. That is amazing. So pristine as well. Yeah, tiles of ceramic and windows with Musharra Abbey. What's this then? That's called, it's called the, we use in our breakfast. Beanie, beanie. Beanie, one second. Wanna mm. go? Mm. Pastilla, traditional food of Morocco, which is um, like a bread with inside baby pigeon and cinnamon and um, spices and milk and egg. And this is where they do it. Wow. Here, the eggs. Yeah. So, and you will have a, some traditional food, and we call it we call it Moroccan Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it has almonds and BB yeah. of pigeon and milk and you know, cinnamon wow. and some 45, so, uh, 45 spices mix it, so yeah. they give it energy, you know. Hi. Hi. That smells, smells yeah, a lovely. Smell of spices, ginger, paprika, hot yeah. paprika, oh, yeah. you know, cumin, cinnamon, you know. Beautiful. Saffron, curcuma, everything. They see maybe in Casablanca or in Rabat. Right. They send with horses to yeah. out to have a taxi or her transport to tickets to Casablanca to sell it in her shop or something because they buy it from the quad. Yeah, right. So here we are in the biggest tannery in all of Africa. It's called Tannery Shawara. So we are going to the rooftop and then we will see the buyer skin. And there is someone from the Tannery Shawara, they will give you some information how they mix this leather. Okay? You are welcome. Well, this is the tannery. Wow, look at that. The name of this place is Shawara. It's very famous. So this is one of uh, the biggest and the largest and the famous tannery from all Africa. Wow. Uh, normally, this tannery makes from 11th century. And also here we have 250 family walking in the tannery. I mean generation, generation father and son. Yeah. So the first walk always put in this place in white. In white area there is a limestone with a pigeon poop. Okay. <laughs> wow. So the pigeon poop has natural ammonia. Yeah. That's why today it's very lucky to smell it. Yeah, you can really, really smell it, yeah. So sometimes the smell is very strong. So the first... 
Yeah. It's sitting there for 25 days? Yes. All these times are supposed to be part of the healed animals. Also for me, because they're very soft. Right, okay. Then we take it directly in this place. Down exactly where a big machine wash it before the skin. Yep. We wash it with clean water, then we put it here to make the colors. All these colors, with natural colors, no chemicals. So red color from puppy flower. Right. Blue from indigo. Green color from mint. Orange from henna. Yellow from saffron. And brown from cedar wood. Most blood stay in a color 15 days. Each day, the artists, they, will, they work each hour, each day. They come, they move skin inside. Right. They go inside. Yeah. So the back. They move skin inside for a little get nice from inside and also from outside. The yellow color, put it just by hand, always in this place. In terra, yellow. Oh, yeah. Because the saffron is very expensive. That's why I always put yellow color just by hand. Right. Always in the terrace. So here we have four animal skin, like sheep, goat, cow, and camel. With this little make jacket, bags, papers, cushions, wallets, everything. All the hemp, natural cars, no chemical. And this type of rain is very famous. It has about 1,200 years. Is it? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. They always very really hard work. Yeah. The first job I see, no women, only men. Right, okay. Never. No women working in this place. What, well, still? Still? Yeah. Right now, no, no women working because it's really hard work. Mm. And also, this kind of a job just from Norway. Yeah. What was the mint for? Mint just for change the smell of the chandelier. Right, okay. Like the perfume, you know? Yes. When the people they come for same here? Yeah. With the smell? Yeah. It's uh, something very different. Yeah, it is, yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's yeah. why we give the people the mint. Yeah. So just for change the smell of the chandelier. Right. So from start to finish, yeah. how long? Oh, it's two months. Two months? Yeah, because uh, we should just put a letter in the roof drying about yeah. two weeks. Yeah. Like so, so all the leather that's hanging, yes. that's um, been there for two weeks? Yes. Two yeah. weeks dry. And then from there it gets caught and made into whatever? Normally when they finish here, we take directly in the artisans to make the design, bags, slippers, belt, everything. Yeah. And then it all gets made here as well? Yes. Uh, we just uh, make a letter here yeah. and the stitching in the other place. Yeah. Not because here no place where... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all the leather's taken care of. Yes, exactly. You can't really smell. <laughs> <laughs> Not so strong today. Really? Wow. I've given this mint to kind of reset your nose because it stinks of pigeon. Oh, what an amazing spot. What a beautiful, beautiful spot. Look at that picture. And yeah, the most famous tannery in Africa. Camel skin. Camel, it's very big. Oh, wow, yeah. And also soft, not like cow. Mm. Cow leather is very hard. I wash you the cow. Come on. Oh yeah, you can really feel the difference. When we touch it, we feel the difference. Yeah, you really can. Normally, it's a dromedar, no camel, because in Africa there is no camel. Right. Only dromedar. Oh, you not dromedar. Oh no, it's camel with one home. Right. Okay. Because the camel, two home. Two hump, Yeah. Dromedar, just one home. Right. So there's no two hump. Not two hump. Right. In Africa, because you find camel in Arabic Saudi or in yes. Australia. Right, yep. But here only drummers are one home, not two. Okay, thanks for that. That smells better. Better, yeah. <laughs> so this is from goat skin. That should see the quality. Oh, wow, you yeah. Fell by That's yourself. really soft. You can even smell yeah. it. Shalali. Uh -huh. Yeah. So normally we try with the fire because mm -hmm. leather, as I see, a natural color, we try with fire, it's waterproof and fireproof. Okay. Look. Wow. Touch this. Yeah. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Also, another space of leather, I'll have. I'll show you my This is small sheep. We, we call lamb, no? Yeah, lamb yep, yep. 
Tak się jest łatwe po prostu. Look my hand. No color. Yeah. Look inside. No water. <laughs> I, see, I show you this because sometimes the people that live in the country rain so much. Yeah. That's why I show you like this. Yeah. <laughs> If you buy some jacket, you can use any place you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was saying basically anything you want making, bring a picture. And within four hours, they'll make it. Four hours. So next time I come, with or without others, we'll be um, calling here first thing, to pay, place an order. Wow, some amazing, amazing things. It's been here for a year. Look at this. This is amazing. I'm really glad I've done this actually. Hello. Hi there. That's um, knocked me for six really how good this has been. An eye opening, proper, proper culture shock. It really is. It's just amazing. That were really good. Felt a little bit dodgy in places. And I definitely wouldn't want to be walking around there by myself in some of the areas because I didn't feel like you should be there. But that guy, he was fantastic actually. And he only charged me 20 quid for all that. 20 quid. I gave him a um, little bit of a tip. But yeah, that was mega. I could have quite easily not done that. So, I'm very pleased that I did. An experience to take away, definitely, and 100%. Should uh, we ever come back to FES, then I will be doing that again. And hopefully taking a few um, guests as well. That were really cool. Thanks, folks. That's it now. I'm done. I'm going to go to bread, um, get a cup of tea, nice Moroccan tea. And, um, yeah, join me tomorrow on the next episode. We are going to... Um, Agadal, I've been saying Agudal, but it's Agadal. Um, through the High Atlas Mountains um, and to the highest road in Morocco. So, should be good. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.